Welcome back to another episode of Animal Medicine with Wise Mountain. So this week, I am sort of leaving my palms open, allowing to myself to be really receptive. I've meditated on the fact that a lot of people right now are experiencing frustration and hopelessness and I just want to ask the animal spirits to please bring us some encouragement to help get us all through these turbulent times that we're experiencing. I shuffled the cards and already asked my question. I cut the deck. <laughs> They're like, show me the card. It's blank. Blank cards mean it's up to you to call in what you need right now. I think it's really appropriate because we're all going through something different. And so I think that what the animals are saying is that only you know what you need at this time. Do you need help? Call it in. Do you need love? Call it in. I'll be honest, I'm battling within myself right now. This, this like, oh, you know, I really wanted the animals to come in and give us some encouragement. <laughs> and, um, and instead I've pulled this blank card. You know, I do feel very strongly that it's, it's actually perfect because you get to decide what you need the blank card also if you see it, it resembles kind of a full moon and and it's a it's a full moon this week so i think that it also encompasses all the animals it's like the full bouquet of wisdom and teachings and lessons of all the animal spirits are behind us right now now let's read what the book has to say included in the medicine card deck are nine cards with blank shields on them. If you feel a close kinship with a certain animal which has not been included in the deck, such as an alligator, flamingo, raccoon, or mountain goat, we recommend that you write the name of that animal within the circle of one of these shields. This written name links the card with the animal spirit through the principle of radionics or vibration. Better still, paste a picture of your special animal within the boundaries of the shield circle. You may then amend this card or cards to the deck or carry it as a talisman on your person. This same method may be used to create a self shield, which can be amended to the deck. It may also be kept separately for use as the sacred mountain card or central card in a spread to designate your energy. Use your artistic talent. Create a collage using pictures of the specific items you want in your life. Carry this card with you, preferably over or near your heart. Work with this self card or collage card on your personal altar. Use the nine blank cards for your nine totem animals. Place them in the nine directions or build a totem pole with them. Create shields for any member of your family. Create shields for power spots or meaningful places in your life. Perhaps you want to go on a vacation. Paste a picture of the Eiffel Tower inside the borders of a shield. Then call on the animal powers in the four directions and ask for their help in manifesting what you want. The same goes for a house or a car or anything else you may need. However, if you are working with medicine cards to bring about your heart's desire, or to create another reality for yourself or someone else, never make a claim on a person who is married or on something that belongs to someone else. You may wish or work for something similar, but never for exactly the same thing that belongs to another. Do not break the laws of cause and effect. These cards are not meant as an aid to those who want to destroy another's creation. The blank shields may also be used to create an ally card. If you do shamanic work and have met your ally on other levels of consciousness, you can create an ally card for your personal use. 
An ally is any particular alliance you have to the creature beings, the stone people, the star nation, the finned ones, the creepy crawlers, the standing people, also known as the trees, or any other living thing in nature. An ally is your teacher and your guardian, a being that teaches the lessons of the physical and unseen worlds. Many allies may come and go during your life. As you can see, the blank shields may be used in a myriad of ways. If you work with a god or goddess energy, a card for this god or goddess may be created and used both in the deck and as a talisman. Use your creativity and talent. Meditate on the blank shield and see what comes to you. You may be surprised. The blank shield may act as the great smoking mirror and reflect your inner desires, goals, dreams, power, or personality. Sometimes the emptiness of the blank shield will bring a vision of what lies below the surface of consciousness. Enjoy the journey of emptiness in this process and the fulfillment will become pure creativity. I love that. Pure creativity. Get creative. Maybe you need to call on the energy of your ancestors. It doesn't have to be an animal. Maybe you need to call on the energy of a former leader like Martin Luther King Jr. or Gandhi. You get to choose this week whose power you want to pull in. Maybe you want to pull in the power of the 5,000 year old trees. Can you imagine what that tree has weathered and experienced and seen and, and felt and offered? I love, I, I love the card this week. It is so appropriate. So what do you need to call in for you? It's all available, just need to ask open arms and an open heart. So I bless you all this week and I pray for your safety and your absolute happiness. Thank you for joining and I'll see you next week.